What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If we've not yet met, my name is Johnny Nittafan. I'm a life insurance agent. And in this video, you saw the thumbnail, right? How to build a personal brand or why you should build a personal brand or even consider building a personal brand as a life insurance agent in 2024 and, and beyond, right? Because this, if you not, are not building a personal brand right now, Dude, what are you doing? Why are you not building a personal brand? Why are you not creating YouTube videos just like these that are informative helping insurance agents? And I'm gonna be giving you guys the reasons why, the how to, and ultimately like just simple things that you can do to start building the, your, like the habits of, of the personal brand and, and building out your business so that you can scale to whatever capacity you want. Because the reality is if you wanna get rich, do it yourself. If you wanna get wealthy, you have to have a team and you have to have a lot of people doing it with you. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down why, how, and what to do, right? To build a personal brand and why you should even consider it, right? So uh, if we've not yet met, again, my name is Johnny and fan. I've been making the YouTube videos for the past year, uh, year and a half, right? Even before then, you can go check on my channel. Um, <laughs> there's a vlog of me, right? And it's, uh, it's filmed from my, my camera, uh, on my phone, but it's, it's literally me documenting when I started my first business, it was called more apparel. And, uh, I, I was always like in, I was in my Gary V, uh, era at that time where I was just filming a ton, right? He was saying make 50 to hundred pieces of content per day. And I was like, dude, what the heck? That's a lot. And so, um, I made a video, uh, just about me starting my first business. And I want to share with you guys why you should even consider starting a per personal brand in this video. So I am so bullish right on the, the, uh, concept and idea of building a personal brand, making YouTube videos, just like these that are valuable to insurance agents, because I believe your vibe attracts your tribe. I believe that you making videos, the videos that you put out, the content that you make is going to attract the people that are for you, the people that are supposed to be in your community, in your tribe, they're going to bring them towards you and actually attract your, your person, right? So if you're wanting to build a team, whether that's a um, huge team, small team, whatever kind of team that you're wanting to look for and really have, building a personal brand is going to light that on fire. And the reason for that is because you're able to draw in the people that you actually want because the content that you make will bring in the people that you want and actually detract the people who aren't supposed to be on your team, right? Or even clients, right? You can use this same exact thing to bring more clients in to be able to sell more insurance and just do it yourself, right? And just do it the organic way because what's cool about YouTube is it's an internal search engine, right? When somebody like me is has a problem in my head and I'm trying to figure out exactly how to solve this problem, right? How to set up Facebook ads. I'm typing that in on Google. I'm figuring out exactly what to do and how to do it. And then typically what happens is I'm recommended um, videos on uh, the the search engine, right? I'm, I'm uh, recommended videos on YouTube. And so if you're not building a personal brand, one, it's, it's a great way to be able to have uh, a lot of people coming in to uh, to your web and circle of influence. Um, and uh, you're actually able to shape beliefs within people through content, right? You're watching this video because you want to figure out exactly why you should create content. You're not totally sure if you want to or not, or if you are already, um, why you should continue doing that. And so I want to see you guys. Um, I want to see you guys win. I'm giving you the secrets. I'm going to give you guys the roadmap on, on why and how to be able to do it. So the reason why you create content is to be able to bring the uh, ideal clients in that you want to see and you want to have in your, in your business, or uh, you want to be able to actually sign on, whether that's term, IUL, final expense, mortgage protection clients, uh, if you want to recruit and just giving value, right? So you want to give first, you want to give, and uh, especially when you're, you're a new agent, say, say hypothetically, you're wanting to actually build a team, right? You're wanting to attract agents to you. Um, and you're wanting to really grow your agency, making content is a personal way or is a great way because they're actually able to relate to you, right? That you're able to deliver the information and give to them before. And so it's the law of reciprocity that, that the more that you just give value over and over and over again, the more that they trust you and the more that they realize that you have the solution for them, or you can at least help them get to their goals. And so I remember, uh, first starting content and a few months in, I just started getting DMs on Instagram, on Facebook of build like, like be, of the videos basically like people would reach out to me on there, or email me, right? Exactly. Like just questions, right. And wanting to connect. And so what was really cool is like people would start reciting my story actually better than I would myself. They'd be like, 
yeah, I, I want to join your team. But before, like, uh, before we do, like, before I do that, I just want to ask, like, dude, how is it working at Starbucks? How are you able to do this? How are you able to do that? And what's cool is, like, I've been able to build an audience and build a following of people that are actually interested in what I'm talking about, right? Because it, it starts with the end in mind. It's starting to figure out, okay, why am I creating content? Why am I wanting to do this? What am I hoping to do with it, right? And you're, you, everybody wants to help people, but also it's okay to want to make money as well and, and to make money because this isn't a charity, right? This is a business to be able to actually make money. And so the reason why you build a personal brand, the reason why you should even think about it is because you will make more money. The more people that know about you and know about your solution, the more people that will buy because you just need people to be aware of you. You don't even need people to necessarily like you, right? Greg Cardone, Greg Cardone always talks about, and you guys probably know who exactly who that is. You might like him, you might hate him, he might be indifferent, but he doesn't care. He just wants people to know who he is because if a billion people knew who he was, he could have 900 million people absolutely hate him and the uh, the 100 million, right, of people that actually knew who he was, he would make billions and billions of dollars off of them. And so when you're creating content, you just have to know that like every view that you're get, going to get, 90 to 95, even 99% of people are not going to either buy from you, they're not going to... Um, do anything with you, right? They're not going to help your business, but the 1% or the 5% or the 10% that actually take action, that actually do it will help you become multi six figures, multi seven figures, multi eight or nine, even 10 figure business owners. And so the power of content is huge, right? I firmly believe that content is where it's at because if you do not have a personal brand, you are getting swept out by somebody who does because the you, you have to have, you have to, to, to uh, like have real estate in people's heads. You have to have time under attention, right? You have to have people's attention. The person who has the most attention is going to be the person who makes the most money and also the person who delivers the value the most. So the question you might be asking is like, why should I even start creating content, Johnny? I'm, I'm only making 10,000 a month. I'm making 5,000 a month. I firmly believe wherever you're at in the stage that you're in right now, the way that you create content without acting like a guru is just by documenting what you're doing, right? I've done this. I've been doing this and I, I still need to do this. I need to still, I'm still in my Rocky cut scene. I still need to put my time under the bar. I still need to keep doing the things, but at the same time, I have enough proof. I have enough evidence that if you do this, there is massive power in building a personal brand. You see people go from direct response funnels, people who are all about paid ads and Facebook ads on uh, YouTube or on Instagram or Facebook or uh, YouTube, right? Uh, people like Alex Ramosi, people like Sam Ovens, people like um, Myron Golden, even um, people who are super big into the direct response um, space. Now they're transitioning to personal brands and fully organic because this is where you're able to have agents that are attracted to you and they actually have the trust because they've spent time with you. People say, there's a statistic, I don't even know if it's true or not, or, or Omar, Omar El Takori was talking about it, and he said, people have to spend an average of seven hours with you to be able to to buy what you're doing, right? If what you're Whatever you're selling, no matter if that's a physical product, a, a course, coaching program, or if that's just buying into your opportunity, they have to spend time with you so that you're able to like give them, you, you have to give the information, you have to under, like they have to understand enough that they can trust you and trust that you understand that there's their uh, problem and then they can therefore trust that you have the solution, right? And so document your journey, Ma start making content right now, even if it's just literally with your phone. I, if you guys go back, I was making videos with my phone, right? Before the, the huge productions, even nowadays, content is switching more towards raw and real, just like this, where there's tons of golden nuggets, right? And so like this, I just turned on my loom and just started filming because the the, the marketplace is going to reward the, the video that gives the most value. It doesn't matter about the production. It doesn't matter about the editing. Yeah, that might matter, but 80 to 90% of the quality of the video is going to become is going to come from the content. So I want to challenge you guys and, and help you guys with like, hey, 
Make content, start doing it now. Start creating a personal brand where you start going out and actually document your journey because people are gonna fall in love with you. And imagine not having to turn on the recruiting ads, not having to spend $500 to acquire a an agent and you're able to consistently scale by just having agents reach out to you. You're having their dream client, you're having your dream recruit, you're having your dream agent reach out to you and you're not having to go chase them. And what's cool is everybody believes in a residual income, but imagine being able to have a sales call and all of a sudden you're able to sell a thousand people just by using that one hour or 30 minutes that you did. And that's the power of marketing and creating content is by allowing the organic side and making videos just like these or whatever videos you want to make, making these videos that provide value to the marketplace and they are going to find you. I have so many people, hundreds of people reaching out on a month to month basis to me to wanna work with me. It doesn't matter if you have a huge channel or not. It matters about, hey, the, the people who I actually help solve their problem, are they the ones watching and that's all that matters. So you have to break the belief that you have that, hey, I have to have millions of followers to be able to monetize. I have to have millions of followers to be able to blow my personal brand up. No, you don't. I And, and the reason why this was the, the, the crazy realization for, for me in this was, um, I remember seeing this guy, he had 750 subscribers at that time and he made $1.5 million that year. He's making $150,000, $200,000 per month. And I was like, dude, what the heck? Like, how is he doing it? And it's because all those 700 cl- uh, the subscribers that he had on YouTube were people that he would sell to and also people he could actually help. And so that's when it opened up my mind like, dude, personal branding and content is everything. If you're wanting to build an agency and really grow and exit, personal branding is everything, right? You think of Ed Milet, Patrick Bet David. These are people who have had personal brands for a while and they've built it and been able to recruit literally whoever they want because of that. Now, the the other thing that you might be thinking of is like, hey, I'm going to keep the secrets inside. I'm going to create some content, but I'm just going to keep the secrets inside. And the reality is if you are not giving away the free information, somebody else is. And so that was a huge belief shift in my head that I was like, dude, I'm going to give all the secrets away. Like, I don't even care. I should not be creating this because I could be creating my quote unquote competitors, but I'm really just delivering value and the marketplace is able to test if you have value or not based on the free content that they have. And then if they're free, if the free content is really good and they can actually make money on that free content, then they will pay more attention to you. Then they'll buy into your vision. They'll buy into your dream. They'll buy into your opportunity that you're selling, right? So if you're not creating content, you are going to be left away because the first thing I do when somebody reaches out to me on Instagram, Facebook, whatever, is I look at their profile. And if if they don't have anything on their profile or even on YouTube, I'm like, dude, who is this person? The mystery is weird because there's a lot of people that are weird out there. But if you're creating content, you're talking about yourself, you're talking about your family, you're talking about your story, your story is going to sell, right? And it's going to help people draw in and you start creating an internal community because that is where the digital age is going. And so people want a sense of community. People want to watch people who they resonate with, who they know, they know the main characters in the life. They know like people get on calls and they know that I'm uh, traveling Airbnb to Airbnb. They know about my wife, Bailey. They know that I I bought leads and I, I fell into this huge massive cycle and all of a sudden I started generating my own leads, started making profit. They've seen the live sales calls. I've given the proof. I've given the evidence. I've given the bank statements. I've given these things. And so that now you can trust me, what I say is real. And so another thing is that you do not have competitors. I genuinely believe I do not have any competitors in this space. And the reason for that is because I believe I'm in a niche of one. I've created a niche of one. Nobody can say that they have my exact story where they started a clothing line called More Apparel when I was 18 years old. Um, I put $8,000 into that um, and that didn't work out. And then I ended up getting married and then I, all of a sudden I was trying to figure out if I should go into the insurance industry, fell into the opportunity. That somebody told me that I could make $100,000 per year when I was 19 years or 20 years old. I was on Ultimate Agent Reality TV show. I was on at different agencies, right? Nobody else can say that that is their story. And I believe that you're, the power of your messaging, the power of your story is everything. And so I share all that to say, 
you don't have any competitors. Nobody is you. And so what's cool is you can, you're in a separate realm. And so it's easy to get commoditized when you're just talking about how to make more sales, how to do more marketing. You're, you're stuck in the same, like you're commoditized, right? And the way you don't become commoditized, the way you don't become just another person on the internet, right? A guru or somebody making videos is by sharing personal stuff, sharing your story, sharing vulnerabilities, right? Like when I first said that I was in $15,000 in debt, that was tough. When I, when I had all the credit cards maxed out, those were really challenging. When I shared all these things, when like I got hit and I went back to zero multiple times in my insurance business and I lost like literally $50,000 in a day, that is when, like, that's where people started drawing more towards me. That's where people like started coming t- closer to me. And so share your vulnerabilities. If you're not making content, you're going to get, going to get swept away. And what's cool is there, there's wherever you're at right now, you can just document the journey and sh- say, Hey, this is, this is what I'm doing right now. And this is how I feel like it could help you, right? This is not the only way. This is a way and not being so stuck on like, hey, you have to do it this way in a certain way, but being able to say, hey, this is what's working for me. Hope this is valuable for you. And all of a sudden people are going to be drawn more and more and more to you because you're like, dude, I don't really care. I want to see you succeed. I want to see you win. But dude, if you don't do this, cool. I'm good. I'm making money doing it this way. And so that was my mindset going into it. It's just documenting the journey and knowing that, hey, videos, and this is another thing, videos on the internet are going to blow up later, right? They could maybe get 100, 200, 500, 1,000 views the first time. But then all of a sudden, later down the line, it could blow up and that beca- that could become a thing that makes you tons and tons of money. I see too many people making so much money with content, with small channels, with people who are very hyper niche, have a small cult like community where like, dude, they're they're just a tribe. It's a community. It's a relationship, right? You're able to build a relationship through the screen. And so if you're not creating content, you are going to be swept away. So create content, open up your mind to be like, Hey, imagine the possibilities of me actually taking action. What does this look like for my life? Because it's, it's a compounding effect. You're going to get zero subscribers. You might get zero subscribers the first month. Second month, you maybe get one. Third month, you get five, right? That's 5x what you did the month before. And all of a sudden, it snowballs and snowballs and snowballs and snowballs. So once you have a video that blows up, they're able to go through and say, dang, this dude has a huge library of content. If I want to learn about marketing, he had, talks about that. If he wants to learn about the gym, he talks about that. If you, if I want to hear about my relationship with God, he talks about it. If he wants to talk about traveling, he talks about it. They're able to follow you along. So don't get discouraged because it is the answer. Like creating content is the way to go in 2024, especially if you want to build a massive business that helps a ton of people because the reality is, the more people help that you help, the more, more impact that you make, the more income that you make. So if you want to make more money, start creating content in 2024. I do this, right? Like go check out my Instagram. I I've built out a whole system so that I can create content and, and make it frictionless, make it, make it easy. Start small, start with your phone. If you have to, you don't have to have this huge production where there's actual cameras, lights, there's a light in the background not all this stuff, right? Like it it could be very, very simple and basic. Once you start, just start and make the, the friction in creating content as least as possible. I started making videos because I was going on a walk every day for 75 hard. So I was like, you know what? I'm going on these walks anyway. I usually listen to a podcast. Let me just take 10 minutes and film a video on like what I learned today or an agent that I was helping, like in, in the question they asked, I'm just going to answer it to the camera. I'm just going to like, now that I coach agents on a day-to-day basis, someone on my calls, like all day with agents and hearing the struggles, I just talk about them more and more and more in my content. And it's a flywheel effect because the more that people actually understand and they feel understood and knowing like, dude, this guy knows what I'm going through. This guy literally said my exact thing that I'm going through. Like, dude, this is crazy. I I've had people say that. And so just make the content, right? If you're an agency owner right now, or if you're training agents, just whatever you're training them share with other people, because you know, way more than you think you do. And so trust yourself, trust your intuition and start creating content in 2024, because if not, 
I've said it many times, you're going to get swept away. You're going to get blown away because the people who are creating content that are giving the val- like giving value out for absolutely free, right? Giving all the secrets away. The more secrets you give away, the more people actually come back and be like, dude, this guy's legit. This guy actually knows what he's talking about because I made twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars on this. I've had that happen before. Um, and what's cool is like I remember this guy couldn't afford my coaching program, and uh, all of a sudden he makes a sale from the free content, and he's like, "I'm ready to go." And I've had that happen multiple times. So if you're if you're not ma- making content, good luck. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.